Good afternoon everybody. Uh, today I wanted to take a quick second to make a review on this uh, six band Teton cloth. I uh, just thought a lot of it so I wanted to, to take some time and talk about it. So first of all, uh, before I go any further, I know the guys over there at the company and uh, I think they're both good guys. They're friends of mine and so I wanted to put that disclaimer in there. I've also been a, a fan of their company from the beginning. I've really enjoyed the uh, the cloth that they've been making and uh, I, I think a lot of that so just getting that out of the way uh, you know so people know where I stand on all of that. Um, they have not asked me to do this um, in fact they don't know I'm doing this at this time so I'm just putting this out there I'm not getting any real benefit from this from them uh, so just you know talking like a craftsperson so first of all, let's talk about the cloth itself. I'm talking about the six band here, and I've laid out another piece of their of their modern wide band, uh, just for comparison. Uh, this is a, a piece that I got started for my other YouTube videos. So you know, just for comparison here, uh, I'm not going to show all the the beadwork here on this, uh, simply because I found that this is a, a worldwide audience, and um, this is a private project that I'm working for somebody. And uh, I don't, I don't want to put all that out there uh, in, this, in this capacity. So I'm just trying to be respectful of that. Um, but I, I'm trying to show enough of the cloth that you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so first of all, the six band cloth, the selvage obviously is a lot thinner. It's, it's uh, actually about an inch and a half versus what's about two and a half inches standard. And so this is something I personally really like. It's an aesthetic detail. Uh, it kind of is a throwback to the old school cloth. Uh, which was their point, but I, I really enjoy that myself because, you know, we see a lot of this. Uh, I think from what I understand, you know, the company's really, you know, uh, not not just Teton, but American as well. American really started building the, the, the selvage wider uh, because that's what people wanted. That's, that's what people were looking for, and so they really profiled it. Uh, this is kind of a throwback to the old school, and I really like that personally. Uh, one of the reasons I like that is because it gives me more real estate to work with. Um, most of my customers and the people that I do work for, they, they don't necessarily want the, the selvage covered with beadwork. And, you know, it's like they want the selvage by itself and then, you know, ribbon work and then, you know, whatever else. So, you know, you already gain like an inch just alone in what you can do down here in the space you've got. So I, I really like that myself. Again, that's personal preference. There's a lot of people that would really like the rainbow selvage. You know, obviously this has less colors in it, uh, but it's just personal taste when it comes to the selvage itself. But this is something I really enjoy. I think it's unique, and I think it's going to make the clothes that are coming out of this particular run look, look pretty nice, pretty elegant. Now, uh, the, the deeper part of what I'm trying to get to, though, is the actual cloth itself. And we're going to talk about a little bit of the tightness here. Um, this is, like I said, this is their standard. Uh, in my experience, you know, this is a raw edge here. Um, I find, you know, in some cases, I'll get, uh, you know, some of the little fray out a little bit. Um, it's a good cloth, but you can actually, in my opinion, you can feel the difference between the two. Um, the weight is a little bit different. Uh, the weave itself is a little bit different. Uh, specifically, I think this weave is a little bit tighter. But more importantly, it's the finishing, and it's the process after everything's done to kind of smooth it out and help kind of compact things. Uh, that the finishing is involved in. Uh, if you want to learn about that, just look it up. You know, look, you know, it's, it's not hard to find. There's a lot of material out there that talks about how this is made. And so, uh, at the end of the day, uh, a, a nice tight finish is, is a really big deal. And so, I, I like that personally. Um, what I have found is that that tightness, especially when I'm doing two needle beadwork, it helps my beadwork really lay a lot flatter. Uh, the, the, the difference is night and day because I can feel the tug when I'm running my needle through on the thread as well as the, uh, the, the, the needle itself. Um, it's a stiffer cloth as a result so it gives me a firmer base to sit on and I, I personally enjoy that. Technique goes a long way. I mean if you have bad technique it doesn't matter what you use you could, you could beat on a brick and it'll still come out lumpy. So, you know, at the end of the day, technique's a really big deal, but your substrate's very important. It's a very big aspect of that. Um, obviously, I can do beadwork on both. I enjoy both, but this one was, you can just feel the difference in my experience, and I wanted to put that out there. Um, so, so yeah, so far this is my, my favorite run out of all the stuff that they've done. I've not handled all their cloth, but so far this has been my favorite so far. Um, they make this in, in, a, in a, you know, navy here as well as a, uh, a, a red, if I remember correctly. Uh, and, and personally, this is one I really like. I liked it enough that I thought I'd take some time and, and make a quick video for you. Uh, you know, your results may vary. If that's the case, fine, you know. 
Uh, everybody's going to have their own uh, things that they're considering and looking at. You know, obviously everything from cost to you know the material itself and so on is important. So you know, those are all considerations a craftsperson is going to have to think of. Either way. I just want to thank you for your time on this, uh, tuning in. Uh, if, if you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to comment, great. I'll try to answer questions if I can. Uh, sometimes it's hard to me, you know, keep up with everything, but I do my best uh, to, to try to respond to questions and things like that. Uh, either way, uh, this project itself is going to give me an opportunity to do the two needle work. I've had, uh, you know, obviously sequin work and then uh, just machine sewing, uh, put, putting uh, ribbon strips on there. So there's a lot of different stitching here that I've run this through. Um, in my experience, I've really been pleased with how the cloth is held up and uh, the results I'm getting out of it. I think at the end of the day, the suit's going to be really nice. Uh, I, I like all this other cloth as well, but to me, this is a step above. I just wanted to give you guys props for that. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.